the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and he shall stand in the latter day upon the earth. So after the skin worm destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and not another. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain that we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. So blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is our keeper. The Lord is our preserver. So therefore, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. For so in my Father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. Lord, let me know my end and the number of my days that I may be certified how long I have to live. Behold, thou hast made my day that it will stay long. And my age is even at nothing in respect of this. And verily, every man living is altogether vanity. Man walketh in a vain shadow and disquieteth himself in vain. He without riches, he cannot tell who shall gather them. Lord, thou hast been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountain were brought forth forever the earth and the world was made, thou art God from everlasting to everlasting the world without end. Thou turnest man to destruction and saith, Return ye children of men for a thousand years in thy sight. But at yesterday when it is past, and I the watch in the night. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, and world without end. Amen. And amen.
The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, and they that dwell therein. So this afternoon we do honor our God who sits high and looks low in a way of our presence today. And we have met in honor of this uh, brother, Kenneth Wardeldo, with this family. Reverently, we will now enter our worship service, and we want to keep it according as it has been planned. So at this time, I believe a little change has been made, and that is the military rights yes, will be given at this time before we go further into the service.
in the United States, the United States Marine Corps, and a grateful nation. Please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved one's honorable and faithful service. Amen. Amen. So as we enter the worship service very reverently, we're trying to follow the program as near as possible. First, we'll have our sacred scripture for this occasion by Bishop James Cobb. After which, we will have the prayer of hope of Reverend Dr. Gerald Brown. In that order. Thank you, Reverend Doe. Give uh, greetings from the Minister House of God in Reesville to the Doe family, relatives and friends. It is a true blessing, amen, to be called upon in this time of hour. And you'll find me reading these scriptures coming from Romans chapter 10. I'll be reading verses 6 through 13. And the scripture says, But the righteous, which is of faith, speak on this wise. Say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven, that is, to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep, that is, to bring Christ again from the dead. But what says it? The word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord of all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word of God for the people of God. I give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the Doe family and all that are related to uh, Brother Kenneth, from one U.S. soldier to the United States Marine Corps. Uh, I say, Urah. Urah. Uh, God has called one of his Marines in to help out with this battle that Satan is trying to bestow upon us. So, so God has gained a Marine. So, family, be rest assured. Brother Clay, be rest assured. I know that's your son, but God love him too. God love him just as well as y'all do. And we thank you for asking me to do uh, the prayer of comfort. I hope my words comfort you, your spirit, as I talk with you to the Lord. Let us pray. Most holy and all wise God, I come here today, gracious Father, with thanksgivings on my heart and our hearts, God, thanking you, gracious Father, for lending us, uh, Brother Kenny Doe, uh, to us for these years, God. And we know, God, that when you call one of your soldiers in, uh, 
you looking for him to come in. And there's no doubt, God, that he has gone to you, God. And we thank you. We thank you for these sons that come here, God. They they going to miss their father. But gracious father, you said that you will step in as a father for them, God. And this father that's uh, has son has gone on to glory, but you will step in as a son. And this brother that's lost, I know they were good friends. That's one of his, his best buddy. And they were, you could tell that they were, they loved each other, God. But you said you'll step in for a brother. And gracious Father, we just thank you for, thank you, for, for, for everything that you've done for us, for him on this day. And God, strengthen the family, God. Strengthen the family. And because they are on a journey that they've never thought they would be this fast, right? But only you know. Mm -hmm. Only you know. And you're the one that holds the future. You know when and where and how things are going to go, God. But we just thank you. We thank you, gracious Father. You give us this bright, sunshiny day, God, and, and, and warm, God. And, and, and we thank you for, for just helping everyone go through this, God. And we ask you to just go with us and this 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 uncle here that's going to bring you words of comfort. Gracious Father, bless him as he has done this many times, God, and you've given him strength each and every time to do it, God, and we thank you for that. We thank you for making him a strong man as he is. Bless him, God. Bless him with these words. And watch over each, each and every one that's here today, God. These friends, uh, these neighbors, these loved ones. Thank you for, for giving us an opportunity to, to, to speak with him time to time. Now, God, we ask you to go with us and stand by us. And gracious Father, forgive me of my sins, of anything I said or done to anyone, God, so that my prayer can be heard. Uh, by you, God. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Everything you've done. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 We thank Ram Brown for prayer. And we're going to uh, deviate just a little bit from the program. And, and, and that is, we're going to have some. Uh, uh, acknowledgments from the church uh, and classmates at this time uh, and maybe if there are any other people. Sister Shirley, where are you? God bless the Joe family. Uh, class of 1980, any of you here, please raise your hand or stand. Okay. God bless you all. The class of 1980 would like to express our deepest sympathy to the family for our beloved classmate, Kenny Doe. Kenny was an enjoyable person. He was a fun-loving person and will be greatly missed. Kenny was a very cool, calm, and collected person who always had a smile on his face. He was a genuine friend and would help you any way he could. We will miss you. However, you will never be forgotten. We love you, but God loves you more. So until we meet again, rest in peace. The class of 1980, Bartley Yancey, Senior High School. Grants Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, Church Resolution in loving memory of Ken, Brother Kenneth Waddell Doe. We lift you up into the Lord. In this time of grief, we pray the Lord will be to you the comfort that you need. And when you have no answer to all the questions, why? Know that God is in control and he is there by your side. He understands the way you feel and knows the loss you face. So rest in his eternal love, for there you'll find his grace. Whereas in the providence of God, he has brought to a close the life of Brother Kenneth Waddell Doe, the members of Gwen's Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, 
feel that it is befitting to express our sympathy to the family. Whereas Brother Dell accepted hope in Christ at an early age and was baptized and became a member of the Gwen's Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. Whereas Brother Doe was a kind and gentle person who enlightened others with his smile and outgoing personality. He loved family and friends and was always concerned about their well-being. He was sincere and genuine in all his doings. He has left behind beautiful memories. Therefore, be it resolved that the Gwen's Chapel Missionary Baptist Church family extend to his, his family and friends our deepest heartfelt sympathy during this time of bereavement. We know your loss is deep and your sorrow is great, but we want you to know that we share in your sorrow. We commend you to him who knows best and will always do right. May God comfort you and give you peace that passes all understanding. Humbly submitted on this third day of March, 2022, the officers and members of the Gwen's Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A copy of this church resolution will be given to the family and another copy will be kept in the church archives. Thank you. Amen. 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 At this time we'll have the special family reflection the son, Kerwin, will speak first. Yeah, go ahead and speak first. I want to go last. Go ahead. Right. Now, nah, you can go. I'm going to get somebody to speak for me. My, my boy right there, Walter. Okay, Walter Johnson, he's going to speak. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. I was, it's funny that I'm here, but I'm going to tell a story. When I first met uh, the Doe family, we was the recreation, it was the early 80s. And we played basketball. It was me and my brothers and them two. And after the game, he put me to the side. He said, you know I'm gonna marry you this town, right? And you gotta get out by sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, well thanks for sharing. But before I go out of here and you kick me out of town, can I say something to you? He said, go ahead, you need to hurry up to get a dog. I said, well. You know my grandma linebacker, right? <laughs> you, you be prepared for a good fight. He said, uh, well, you can be my sister then. <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. And I just want to show you that, man, and I, I really love you guys and the Doe family. And may God bless all of y'all. Thank you. Amen. 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 Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hey, all right. um, glad everybody showed up. You know, um, thank y'all, everybody. You know, I'm pretty sure my dad touched everybody out here in some type of way. Um, whether he stayed stay out of his town, you know, if you was a woman, how you doing with your fine self? You know, um, any of my friends, you know, was always a dad to everybody. You know, um, I always give you some good advice. You know. Um, Uncle Jack was the best friend, you know, never let him down, always on time. I want to give a little shout out to Uncle Jack over there. Love you, Uncle Jack. Um, I just appreciate everything, man. I just want y'all to know that my dad was a great dad to me and my brother. You know, he, he paid the way for us. You know, um, he always say somebody got to pull this concrete. You know, my, but my dad really paid the way for me and my brother, for real. You know, and uh, I just, I, I just, I can't explain it. Like, I ain't going to ever be able to give my dad enough praise for everything he done did. You know, um, he left he left a lot of life lessons that I know everybody knows. You know, um, walk away. You know, um, be where you're supposed to be. You know, always love. You know, and pick and choose your battles. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard to do those things, but every time I, I get in a bind, I think about my about my dad and what he would like. You know, and it, it really helps, man. And I just want to challenge everybody. You know, pop daddy challenge. You know, when you see somebody, make it the last memory a good one. Because you don't know when your time going to be. You never know when your time is going to be, man. And I just, once again, thank everybody for being here. You know, um, 
I would like to induct my dad into the dad of Hall of Fame. You know, um, with my brother second in the motion. All right. You know. So, um, you know, one last thing, you know, uh, everybody in favor of Kenneth Doe being inducted, um, say aye. aye. There it is. That's all right. Amen. I believe we could say the benediction. <laughs> Amen. But we are so honored to be here and to have these members of the clergy that have come to share in this home going of our brother Kenneth. And uh, all the clergy that are here. Will you just raise your hand? Amen. We got Amen. Cousin from Maryland and from uh, D.C. Maryland. Maryland and all of these ministers. We just thank you for sharing with the family at this time to help them to overcome the shock the grief that they are experiencing at this time. So at this time, we are honored to have Brother Robert Spencer to bring us a song at this time. And then we, and continue to pray for me that I will bring the word as the Holy Spirit shall move me. Amen. Brother Robert Spencer. I'll never leave you. I'll never leave you. I'll never leave you if you will only trust me trust me trust me I'll fight your battle I'll fight your battle I'll fight your battles if you will only trust me trust me Trust me, I will be with you, I will be with you, I will be Trust me, trust me, trust me, you are the source of my strength, you are the strength of my life. I lift my hands in total praise to you. You are the source of my strength. You are the strength of 
my life. I lift my hands in total praise to you. Amen. 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 thank all of you for sharing your love, your concern with this, our family. It means so much because of the fact you never know just how it feels until you lose a loved one. Amen. Amen. And we want to say to the Father, my brother, God is still on his throne. Amen. And to these sons, we want to thank God for you and for sharing Kennedy with all of us because he was a outgoing young man. Amen. He always, every once in a while, he'd give me a call I recognize his number. And he would say, when I answered the phone, I heard you looking for me. <laughs> I say, who is this? And I act like I didn't know. I'm telling the people that I look for, I can find them. <laughs> but he was a unusual young man. Besides being my nephew, I find that we could talk, strong talk. I could say, if he get out of the way, I'll straighten him out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And also, you know, uh, where's Jack at? Where's Jack? Oh, Jack over there. <laughs> you always talk about Jack. They used to have a Golden Corral in Reesville, you know. <laughs> and maybe a lot of people don't know all of why they went out of business. <laughs> <laughs> They probably got tired of looking at that, uh, that uh, Kenneth and Jack. <laughs> Breakfast, dinner. That was their second home. <laughs> Amen. Nevertheless, we. This was a young man that I've noticed a long time ago. He should have retired from the Marine. He was a Marine from his heart. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's why he talked like he did. Because he was a real Marine. And during the time that I was pastoring here, we started our vacation Bible school. And we got him involved. And he, so 
remember what we formulated, what we call a step team. Mm -hmm. And some of you probably never heard of it. But I was so elated, I was just lifted up. He took young boys and young girls and at vacation Bible, got them lined up and had them all trained to do steps. And I know that I I I, I never been a soldier, but I sure didn't want to join the step team. <laughs> because it was so precise, it was so beautiful. And I had hope that I, I, he was going to keep me going. But somehow it faded out. It was beautiful. But I'll never forget Kenneth for being the head of that. But today we want to congratulate him on how he supported his son. Yeah. Amen. 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 When his son was playing football, I had people. I was working as a patrol supervisor for Wack and Hut Security. And they knew my name, but when they look in the paper, they see this dope. <laughs> and they want to know was he interrelated to me, and I stick my checks out. <laughs> <laughs> because of the fact that boy was running. <laughs> <laughs> they did good in school. I want to, I want to say that Kenneth encouraged those boys. Amen. Amen. This is the example to all of us. Encourage our children. Amen. That's not what I'm going to talk about, but I want to be very brief at this because Kenneth didn't attend church like we thought he ought to. And I tried, every time I see him, I said, look, man, come on by. But you never know why a person stopped mm. attending church. You never know. Well, I believe that Kenneth believes in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. And people that Gwen Chapel knew. Amen. 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 But somehow he faded out. But one thing about it, whenever you once confess Christ, mm -hmm. Christ, you may fade out, but Christ's not going to fade. Amen. <laughs> he's going to be there. Yeah. He may be pleading, but he'll be there. All right. Therefore, because of that, we want to invite your attention very briefly. First, we want to go back to a question that was asked 1,500 years before the coming of Christ. And that man was Job, Job 14, 14. And the question Job asked if a man die. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Come on now. Shall he live again? Mm -hmm. Upon all my appointed time, I'm going to wait. Till my chance comes. 1,500 years. Strong men came on the scene 1,500 years. Men of great wisdom came mm. on the scene, but they never answered the question. Mm. 1,500 years. But I find that after the 1,520 years that expired, a man showed up. Mm -hmm. On the scenes of time. Look like any other man, and some say he was a carpenter. All right, Mom, preacher. Mm. Some declared that he was the son of Mary and Joseph. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. But he wanted them to know I'm more than that. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. I am the Son of God. Mm. 
And because of that, we want to talk from this setting. And our scripture is based from <coughs> this scripture, two verses, two verses. Jesus said to a young lady, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, Amen. though he were dead, Yet, yes. shall he live. Amen. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never yes. die. Amen. Then he said, believeth thou this? Mm. This man was Jesus. Yeah. And I want to use this as, as a service for first, just a few minutes. And listen to me. A little faith, mm. just a little bit, yeah. makes the difference when death comes. Y'all yeah. yes, didn't hear what I said. Amen. 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 A little faith Amen. makes the difference when death comes. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Let me. Read that scripture again. Amen. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, right. yet shall he live. Amen. 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 So as we face this challenge of saying farewell to Brother Kenneth, Rather, get in the seat of judgment. Come on, man, come on. Mm -hmm. And saying he going this place or that place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The record says that he did have faith. That's right. Faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. now, if you would search the scripture, no man with faith have ever been turned away. Lot lived in the gate to suffer. Mm -hmm. The worst city that I've read. Yet when God got ready to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he there was one man, Lot, had a little faith, mm -hmm. sitting in the gate. Mm -hmm. but God sent an angel All right. to lead him out of it. All right. mm -hmm. As we look not only at that, but at this scripture that I chose today for your inspiration. Martha had a brother. His name was Lazarus. Yeah. Jesus loved that family. Yes, and I've searched, maybe some of the other ministers can find it, I haven't found it. Well, Lazarus hadn't said a word. Right. He was just there. Yes, sir. Because he was there, the Lord still loved him. Yeah. But in the process of time, Lazarus got sick. Mm -hmm. Not only did he get sick, but he died. Mm -hmm. right. Hadn't said a word. Mm -hmm. But the Bible said Lazarus died. Uh -huh. The Bible said Jesus loved Mary. Lazarus, Murray, and Martha. That's right. While Jesus had been run out of town, Lazarus died. Mm -hmm. Jesus had always fellowship with his family. Mm. But when they needed him most seemingly, 
Jesus was not there. But yet at the same time, my brothers and my sisters, Jesus knew about it though he was about two miles away. But when Lazarus died, even that's how Jesus knew about it. You see, he knows what we're going through. I'm going to try to bring it on in. But I just want to let you know these girls were left all by themselves. Mm -hmm. The Jewish people came in to give them comfort. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, we appreciate comfort, yes. but nothing like having Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somehow or another, Jesus had a disciple away from him. He told the disciples, said, I got to go back to Bethany. Somebody said, Lord, you can't go back because you just left. They run you out. But Jesus let them know that Lazarus was dead. And I'm going back so I can wake him up. Some of them thought he was just fell off and asleep. Finally, Jesus said to them, I want to let you know something. Lazarus is dead. But that don't matter when Jesus came almost to the house. Martha, with just a little faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. She had a growing faith. Mm -hmm. Martha said, Lord, if you had been here, our brother would not have died mm -hmm. if you just had her been here. All right. mm. Come on now. Jesus knew her faith was not mature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said, your brother mm. is going to rise again. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her little faith said, yeah, Lord, I, I know he will. In the last day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Jesus wanted her to have a mature faith. Yeah. Come on now. I, she said, I know he arrived at the last day. Mm -hmm. But I heard Jesus say, Mother, I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I am. The resurrection and the life. Yeah. What is Jesus saying, Martha? Yeah. I want to let you know I am Alpha. Yeah. I am Omega. Yeah. What Jesus is telling us, He is the Creator. Yeah. He was telling Martha, look at here, Martha. Before that was a when or where I am. I am. God all by myself. Yeah. And I want to tell all of you that don't know Jesus, yeah. you might not know your ABCs. Yeah. But one thing, I want to encourage everybody that listen to me. You ought to get to know Jesus. Yeah. Because if you die and don't have faith in him, yeah. You have nobody to help you Amen. when you die. Amen. Because Lazarus was dead. Yeah. Nobody to help the family. That's right. Dead. But Jesus let them know who he is. Yeah. When he told them, I am. The resurrection mm. and the life. Amen. I am meaning that whatever you need, Come on now. he can supply. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I say to all of you, a little faith. You might not have faith like Moses, That's right. 
that you can lead two million people. Mm -hmm. But y'all have a little faith. Yes, so when death comes, you'll be facing reality of one mm -hmm. who met death head on mm -hmm. one Friday evening. Yeah. Oh buried in a borrowed tomb. Mm -hmm. But early that Sunday morning, yeah. Jesus arose yeah. from the dead. Yeah. May God bless you. Thank you, Lord. May heaven smile upon you. Amen. 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 Let us bow our heads. O oh, merciful and eternal God, our Father, in whose presence we bow right now. We just want to say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for your word of comfort. Yes. Thank you for mercy and grace. Yes. We thank you for the life of Kenneth. The many young people, the many people that he touched. Those who are his co laborers on the job. We just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this congregation today. We pray that your word will not fall to the ground void, mm -hmm. that it will, according to the dictation of the Spirit, be able to produce some fruit. Yes. Thank we thank, thank you for all you've done. Thank you for these thank boys. Thank you. And we thank you for your love, the brother, and the entire family. Yes. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Mm. Amen. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God in His wise providence to take out of the world the soul of our deceased brother, Kenneth Doe, we therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, looking for the general resurrection in the last day of the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world, earth and the sea, mm -hmm. shall give up the dead and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed Amen. and made like unto the I heard a voice from heaven said, on the right hand, so said the Spirit, yeah. blessed are the dead who died in the Lord, even so mm -hmm. said the Spirit, the rest from their labors. At, at this time, we're going to ask Reverend Brother Over to come and give us a prayer and benediction. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. To the family, certainly our condolences and hearts are with you. We uh, converse with Dr. Doe and others of the family just to uh, let you know that our, our thoughts and our prayers are with you. Let us pray. God our Father, Lord we thank you so much. God for your grace, your love, your mercy. God we thank you for this family and we praise you Lord God that even in spite of we can give you glory and honor. Yes. And so we pronounce this benediction over this family. May the peace of God, his everlasting grace, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, the very presence of God, May it rest, rule, abide, and hold sway in your hearts by faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I'll see you in the rapture after the first trumpet sound. The dead in Christ shall rise from the sea and from the ground. And they that shall be remain shall be caught up in the air 
I'll see you in the rapture. I'll see you when I get there. The family of Mr. Kenneth Doe at this time would have the Johnson and Son funeral home to thank each and every one of you for all acts of kindness extended to them. Perhaps and certainly at a later day and time when time permits, a written card of thanks should follow. A special thanks to you, Pastor Doe, for your wonderful words of comfort to this family and to all of us. To your poor pit associates, we said thank you so much on your behalf of being here with this family in their time of bereavement. To the many family members and friends of the Doe family, we said thank you on their behalf. We ask that you continue to keep this family in your thoughts and prayers because in the days to come, prayer will be needed. And also, those of us that are veterans and with the friends and family, we say to our brother, thank you for your service. The benediction has concluded these services for Brother Doe and to everyone again. We said thank you on behalf of the family. <laughs>